I've got terrible headaches all the time, chronic migraine and tension headaches. I've done so many things. What do I do? A lot of times on YouTube, you get to end the video and they say, well, take this Tylenol and you'll be well. I'm not gonna be doing this today. Headache treatment is very complicated, difficult. If you wanna think like I do and think like a neurologist, let's sort of go through the process. How would I think of you as I follow you the course of time treating your headaches? So there are four different pathophysiological mechanisms at play in a headache. And then I had a fifth one just to put Botox at number five, and we'll talk about it at the end. But when I think of a headache, I think of constriction of blood vessel, vasodilatation, vasodilatation bigger than normal, and that's the vascular mechanism of headache, then a release of chemicals, the biochemical mechanism of headache, and then a tsunami of electricity across the brain, which is the electrical mechanism of headache. The fourth mechanism is trigeminal vascular system activation. This is sort of a newer thing that we've really got into. It's just transformed the way people treat migraines. And so we're gonna talk about that as well. But the first mechanism of vascular, we use blood pressure medications. And Enderol, Atacan, Verapamil, the biochemical, we use antidepressants. You know, Pamelor, Elevil, Cymbalti, Fexor, Wabutrin. The, the electrical, we use anticonvulsants, Topamax, Kepro, Zonogram, Depico. And then the trigeminal vascular system activation, we use monoclonal antibodies and G-pants. And there are four monoclonal antibodies that block um, CGRP. It's a very small protein that's involved in pain. It's elevated people that have migraines. It causes vasodilatation and inflammation. And there are four of these uh, monoclonal antibodies, Amiovig, Ajovium, Galati, Viepi. Done videos on all these. And then two G-pants, Culepti and um, Neurotech, which we use a ton. And then if all this doesn't work and you have more than 15 headaches a month, then I use Botox. And Botox is just amazing. Um, I used to do a lot of Botox for decades and decades, probably 30 years for people with dystonia, hemifacial spasm, twitching of the face. When it came out for headache, I didn't really, wasn't a real big believer, but I was shocked at how well it works. I'll have a whole year go by and not one patient, it doesn't work. Now obviously our patient selection is pretty rigid. So when I see a patient with migraine, I think about these three mechanisms, vascular, biochemical, and electrical. And then I think about a trigeminal vascular system. So I think if you'll go back and watch these videos from the beginning, watch the vascular mechanism video, the biochemical mechanism video, the electrical mechanism video, the trigeminal vascular system activation, and then really watch the individual drug videos. In particular, these, I think most of you have probably not been involved with any neurologist who treats with you know, the monoclonal antibodies are just amazing. So watch the Amiavig and the Ajovi and Mgality, Iepi. Watch the G-Pants. Man, we use tons of Nurtag. Just started using a lot more Culepta. But, and then watch the Botox for chronic migraine headache video. And I think if you'll start at the beginning with the vascular one and then watch the electrical and then watch the, I mean, watch the vascular first, then the biochemical, then the electrical, then the trigeminal vascular, then the Botox, you'll sort of get a good feel for how a neurologist like me would treat your headaches over the course of your life. So I know this sounds sort of boring, it's very academic, but this is the real McCoy. This is how we treat chronic daily tension and migraine headaches. If you really want to learn, get a yellow legal pad. I'm putting up this handout with the different mechanisms. Watch these videos individually and then watch the drug videos and you will know so much and have so many good questions to ask your primary care provider or your neurologist. Now, this is Dr. Caudill Miller, the Brain Doctor. Like, subscribe, comment. You know, I do answer every question. So send me a question and I'll answer the best I can. I can't give you medical advice over the internet, but I can tell you what most neurologists like me would do. So more later.